Welcome back. If you want to put out some incredible food for the big game coming up this weekend, but you don't want to do the cooking, we've got an idea. Or rather, Bears has one. Order them. Order from them. Jamie McDonald from Bears Smokehouse and Barbecue here to tell us what's going on. Good morning. Nice to good see morning. you. Great good. To good, see to, you. good to see you guys, too. Good All right. To see so I had the question, and Nicole and I were wondering, what's the biggest day of the year for you? I would assume that it was the Super Bowl, but mm -hmm. it's not. No, our, 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 our biggest catering day is Thanksgiving, and then I would say Father's Day and and then Father's the Super Bowl. Day. And how many cookies, how many turkeys did you cook? <laughs> uh, this year we were just shy of 1,100. That's so amazing. It was, it was a lot. <laughs> now, Scott and I tasted those turkeys because you guys came on back in November. Yeah, it was so we understand why you sold 1,100 turkeys. Yeah, it was really <laughs> remarkable. But what are you going to be selling uh, for a spread, or what are some popular uh, big game items? So, of course, everybody loves wings. Yep. And um, starting this year, we introduced other flavors because tr traditionally we've always just done barbecue. Either you either get, get them, there's all smoked, but you either get a barbecue sauce or one of, one of our barbecue sauces. But this year we have uh, like a Thai chili. We have a garlic oh, parm. Thai chili. What is that um, flavor? Are they all different? So types? there's garlic parm here, uh, Thai chili, and then just your normal buffalo. Okay, try the Thai oh, chili. Yummy. Nicole, would you like one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, hang I'll take on this a wing right here. I'm give it a whirl. <laughs> so good. Oh. And, uh, of course, the signature mac and cheese. Yeah, you can't go wrong with mac that. Mac and cheese and then ribs. Um, oh, this is remarkable. And being born and raised in Kansas City, uh, we're super excited about the Super Big Bowl year this year. Big year for your family, right? Yeah, so like... You were born and raised in Kansas City? Yes, yes. The city of fountains. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they claim. There are a lot of fountains now, too, especially think, down towards yeah. the plaza. And the fans are runneth over because well, of the big game. Very oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was clever. <laughs> <laughs> um, but throughout the season, uh, we've done every every time the Chiefs win, we do fifteen dollar ribs uh, because of. Our quarterback, Pat Mahomes, is number 15. Oh, my God, that's um, awesome. But then since we won the championship, we've been doing, Excellent. we call it the Mahomes-Jones, because Chris Jones is our, our top defensive guy, and mm -hmm. it's 1595 uh, for racks <laughs> of ribs or for a dozen wings. That's great. Thank you very um, much. And then for the Super Bowl itself, we have uh, a bunch of packages that people can pre-order. Um, people usually, we're not we're not so busy for dining on Super Bowl, because everybody likes to, eat, you know, they have their parties to go to, mm -hmm. so we do do a lot of catering and a lot of pre-orders, so. If you're, if you're interested, get your orders in quickly. Okay. And what the audience may not know is that you were over in the Ukraine and you were helping yeah. out those people. Talk, talk to us a little bit about that experience. It was, uh, I just tell, the easiest way to say it, it was just, it was life changing. Um, I, I had been involved with other things like uh, for natural disasters, like the hurricanes or the flooding down in West Virginia uh, most recently. But being there and just seeing the amount of people every day, because we were stationed right on the border of Poland and Ukraine. So we were, we were really some of the first people that people would see the refugees and see as they cross the border and got to that first you know inkling of safety and just you could see that you know, it's all women and children yep. and, and elderly and you could just see the relief on their faces as they crossed over and and just the amount of support that was set up for them not only us at where I was involved with World Central Kitchen um, but you had the Red Cross there you have people that would just show up with supplies for children so you had whole tents set up with just baby supplies and baby food and because everybody needed they, they they left literally and I, 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 I I'm a kind of an amateur photographer. I took pictures of people with, you know, they had what they could carry on their backs and, That's amazing. and carrying their suitcases. And so they really got over there with nothing. But at the same time, it was also, like I said, it was just great to see the amount of good people there are out there Excellent. just and, trying to help. Yeah, nice. And we are so appreciative yeah. of the good people like you who go out there and, you know, I, when we were talking to you over Zoom, you know, yeah. remember yeah, on incredible. our newscast. So, and, you know, I don't think a lot of people know that you're a bit of a philanthropist and you really use your I, platform and your business to help the community and the world literally so really, thank it's, you it's 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 really what we we strive for because at the end of the day you know what's the use of having a successful business if you're not right trying to do better for now me. are you going to be getting any more tattoos i'm almost out of room i was <laughs> actually <laughs> going to say uh, <laughs> yes i was actually just talking to my tattoo artist um who's down in new haven uh about doing my next ones which will probably be my armpits oh, <laughs> okay really <laughs> which will not be fun which will not be fun <laughs> but back on um, philanthropy real quick i do yeah. know that especially with everything going on in turkey right now um world central kitchen they in fact the first people from the team uh started heading over there yesterday okay um so there's going to be we're going to 
be of course doing uh, fundraising for that and I mean every day it just gets worse and worse as far as it's pretty horrible well, we can't thank you enough yeah, again. thank you and really quick how can people uh, get information on how to order so just go to our website uh, www.bearsbarbecue.com bbq.com mm. mm. uh, you could order right there and it'll be hot ready to go on game day and we're all, of course, rooting for the Chiefs at, at Bears, but <laughs> I do know there are a lot of Eagles fans out there. In fact, some of my, my best friends locally are, are Eagles fans. So we okay. hope that your friendship will continue can after have, the game. Every, yeah, everybody can <laughs> everybody can enjoy Kansas City barbecue, no matter who you're rooting for. <laughs> all right, let's take a look.